order to classify the shape and find its perimeter, we need to find the lengths of these sides. So if let's say I start again with AD. Well, notice if I do this, I form a right triangle and my AD I'm trying to find is the hypotenuse. Remember the Pythagorean theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared in any right triangle. My hypotenuse is the C part of that. So if I can just count on the grid to find A and B, it will be pretty easy to find the length of that side. So notice this side of the triangle is has one, two units in length, it's two. And this side is one, two also. So my A and B are two and two. I'm going to use them to find the length of AD. Okay, so AD is my hypotenuse, it's equal to two squared plus two squared, my two legs. That gives me AD is equal to four plus four, excuse me, AD squared. So AD is squared equals eight, and the last thing I do to solve that is take the square root of both sides to get rid of that squared. Notice I come up with exactly the same answer I did when we did the distance formula one. So AD is the square root of eight, which equals, they want to the nearest tenth. If you use your calculator, the square root of eight is about 2.8. Okay, so I found this side is 2.8. Now let's find CD. I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did on my other example. So again, I'm trying to find the length of CD here. I'm going to use my grid to form a right triangle to go down and over from C to D. Notice it also has sides that are, now you can just count. See there's one, two squares on this side, it's length two. One, two squares, this is length two. I have a right triangle and CD is the longest side, the hypotenuse. So again, I use the Pythagorean theorem. My hypotenuse, CD squared equals one of the legs squared, one leg was length two, plus the other leg, which was also two squared. Okay, if I simplify further, two squared is four, two squared is four. You can see I have exactly the same problem I was looking with, working with before. Four plus four is eight. And the last step is to take the square root of both sides to get rid of that squared that was stuck on the CD. And we get CD is also the square root of eight, which if we put in our calculator is 2.8. All right, so I can see AD and CD are the same length, which means this is starting to look like I could verify it as a kite. The only other thing I need to know is if these two are the same length. They have to be in order for this to be a kite. All right, I'm gonna draw a line here. I'm gonna find the length of AB and the length of BC. All right, so let's take a look. If I wanna find the length from A to B, I can do the same thing. I can use the grid to make a right triangle connecting A to B. You notice it is a right triangle. I can just count the squares to find the length of these sides. This one is length two. It has two squares over here. And this one is one, two, three, four, five. It's length five. Again, we use the Pythagorean theorem. So the hypotenuse of that right triangle, AB squared, is equal to one of the legs, which was length two squared, plus the other leg, length five squared. And add those together, or square them, sorry. Two squared is four, five squared is 25. Keep going. Four plus 25 is 29. And finally, to get rid of that squared, we take the square root of both sides. And we get that AB is 5.38. They wanted it to the nearest tenth, so I round that to 5.4. Whew, one more side to go. Okay, and this is, again, you can use the distance formula, but in this example, I'm showing you how to solve this problem using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so there's yet another side 
BC. And yet again, I can use the grid to form a right triangle from B to C. Find the length of each of those just by counting. Notice this side of the triangle has length one, two squares. And the bottom down here has length one, two, three, four, five squares. Now let's calculate. So the length from B to C, that hypotenuse squared, is equal to one of the legs, two squared, plus the other one, five squared. And this looks very familiar, right? We square both of them. You're going to be so tired of the Pythagorean theorem. 4 plus 25 is 29. And finally, we take the square root of both sides. And we get that BC is also the square root of 29. Shocker. Or 5.4 if we put that in our calculator. So, there were two parts to this question which we can now answer. The first was to classify the polygon. This polygon is a kite. I proved it by showing that I had two congruent sides here and two congruent sides here and that it just didn't look like a kite, it actually was a kite. The second part was to find the perimeter. Well, to find the perimeter of something, you add its sides together. So the perimeter is going to be 2.8 plus 2.8, those are my two short sides plus the 5.4 and the 5.4. You can write that as 2 times 2.8 plus 2 times 5.4 if you wish. When we add those together, we get 16.4. Okay, so I've answered the kite and its perimeter is 16.4. Now we are going to work on finding